Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, a uh, big surprise! Oops! Fujino's here now! Along with Kiyohime, Dantes, and Gene Arc, this is a banner that was not on the JP version of the game! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. It's gonna be today's video. Hope you like it. All right, let's get into it. Um, so first of all, yeah, this was not on JP. The JP version of this, and this was also not here. This is what it, it, we're supposed to get this a year from now, and this is the banner change. Is that it's so she's supposed to be added to Abby. We're not also supposed to get Summer Jean, Dantes, or Kiyohime at all. Funny enough, um. Kiyohime has actually not come back since the 13 million download campaign, which on JP, that was in 2018 in June. And I think that has been over, it's been over four years since Kiyohime has had any form of a rate up on JP. So N NA has gotten that early, which is crazy, crazy to think about. For Vagino, like I said, super rare. So let me get into this. And we'll start here. So, very quickly, if you're in case you're actually interested in summoning for this banner, um, all these units, except for, I actually don't know. It's been a very long time since I've used my Kiyohime, but if you're a big fan of Kiyohime, you'll take what you can get with her. So she's perfectly fine to have. It's always nice to have summer units you don't have because they're limited, and they're some of the rarest. Kiyohime, like I said beforehand, is maybe one of the rarest servants out there. Um, Fujino is the only other one. For example, in JP, she's only been back twice. And this is our second time getting her back. She's absolutely one of the most rarest servants out there. As long as, as far as four stars are concerned, it's her. It's a lot of the year one summer units, um, and it's also Miyu as well, in terms of rarity. Jean, I don't think she's had a solo banner since. Actually, on JP, they just recently got one with all the. Uh, she shared one with a whole bunch of all the summer units basically coming at once and I think that was her kind of return She's been featured on some other stuff But usually like it's one of those ones where like you have a chance to get her, but she's not on rate up So that means it's very hard to actually get them Dantes I think is very similar as actually I think funny enough Dantes actually has maybe the most reoccurring of all of them But at least three of these units are super crazy limited So if you're summoning for this I'm gonna tell you right now It's too late for me to stop you or anything. I wish you the best of luck I hope you got them because let me tell you, they're very hard to get. I have my one copy of Fujino, and I'm perfectly happy and satisfied with my one copy, and I'm waiting for the day I can finally get a Buster, in, uh, hopefully in a year, when I get my Buster support to go along with her and I can actually use her. Because she is very good. And she does eventually kind of get a buff to make her just better. Uh, though I don't think she really needed one. And then That doesn't matter either, here, either way. So... Yeah, if you're wondering, hey, how come this is happening over here in NA, on the actual, um, not on the, uh, on the panel they did, that's the word I was looking for, for the panel that they did over at Anime Expo, they did kind of mention that they know for a fact that they've known for a very long while that we have basically Clairvoyance EX. Uh, which, if you don't know what that means, it means that w they know for a fact, the people on the NA side know, that we know absolutely everything that's coming into the game in two years' time. Which means it's very hard to get us excited for stuff, because anytime it's time for something, they would go, Hey, so now it's here for this. And they're very, <laughs> I think, playfully annoyed with that fact, that we can plan two years ahead and basically, like, not have to worry about anything. I know I for sure don't have to really worry about anything because I take that two-year planning very seriously. And I do spend from here and, here and there, usually for the GSSR, but it's very rare for me to do it nowadays just because I, I don't really need it. I know every unit that's coming out. I know which ones are good. I know which ones I like. And I know which ones I can save up and be like, okay, well, now I know when a pity's coming in and I can plan accordingly. And if I don't get them, I know when they're going to be coming back and I can, you know, plan forward ahead. It's different on J. On JP, it's like a wild west. You just don't know when something's gonna come back. So you really only have that chance, and then you're done. Like, for example, Arjuna Alter. Over on JP, I sure as hell bet that no one expected him to go over two years without another banner. <laughs> and a lot of people were like, well, I guess we can wait. And then the answer was, oh my god, they waited so long. But on the NA side, when his banner came up, we knew he was very limited. So anyone who wanted him knew that they had to spend now, or they would never have a chance again. So, I think we should start expecting more stuff like this. Like, we've already had banners in the past that kind of broke 
the idea of us getting stuff different from JP, obviously. But this is a big one because Fujino is definitely one of those like rare. It's kind of like it's kind of like releasing into the wild a black lotus and saying here you go have a chance at it. it's like we know for a fact that this unit is super crazy limited because it's a crossover unit so the chances of us getting her again are very limited with what we know so that means she can only come back for a certain amount of time at least that was my understanding i now think that they don't have that <laughs> they don't have that restriction on them and the only thing holding back fujino on the jp side is when the JP devs feel like she should come back or something. If they don't find a reason to return her, then it's different. Now, obviously, there's a reason to return her in here, which is related to the story. And if you want to save yourself a little bit on that, I won't go too much into it. But yeah, um, it's crazy. It's very crazy. I actually didn't explain the units. Anyway, in terms of the units, Jean is probably at this moment in NA, one of the best loopers for archers. Her kit already is crazy uh, built. It was already crazy built before Castoria came out, and she could loop kind of by herself if you knew the right, if you had the right CEs and you had the right everything. She didn't have any trouble in that department in terms of NP gain. I think she was on the same level as um, Summer Mo. So, yeah, I kind of want, to be honest, I might actually wait for right up on hers and see if I can scrounge up a multi and see if I can get her. And if I don't get her, then maybe I can at least get a dupe Fujino or something. That's, this is the this is what they want specifically, is this feeling of going, oh man, they want you to let go of that quartz pile just a little bit so that there's a reason for maybe you to go in there and maybe a certain, certain whales will go back in there and be like, oh, you know what? Now that they're here, I should actually spend and go for it. I think that's the feeling that they want to return for this. And that's definitely, these units are definitely some of the ones for here. Uh, Dantes. On NA, his main role is the biggest Avenger unit has kind of been, in theory, replaced with Voyager. I will say Dantes is much easier to build up because Voyager requires material that are very hard to get and are used by a lot of good units. So even if you did use the system to get a whole bunch of them um, for his skills, there would still he'd still be competing with a lot of other ones just because of how rare those materials are. So for a cheaper material cost, I think Dantes is still the king in that regards. Um, very good to have. His summer outfit is amazing. I think it's still my favorite of all the male summer units out there. The summer goth look is uh, iconic for him, and it's very powerful. For Fujino, I think I actually have something pulled up for Fujino if you're very... The funny thing is, if you look at the kit, it doesn't seem like it would be that amazing, but trust me, it, it is good. Um, she has her active skills as a mystic... Oh, actually, she has one quick, two arts, two buster, three hits on quick, three hits on arts, three hits on buster, five hit extra... Mystic Guys of Distortion EX, increased on Buster Day Performance for 3 turns, increased Defense for 3 turns, increased on NP Generation Rate for 3 turns, it's 35% 10, 30% NP Rates, second skill, Ignores Evasion for 3 turns, gain Crit Stars, 15 Crit Stars, nothing too amazing, Residual Pain A, reduces on Max HP by 2000 for 3 turns, reduces on Damage Taken for 3 turns, Grant Self Gut Status for 1 time 3 turns, mm, um, less damage taken is 2000, 5 cooldown, magic resistance D, independent action A+, territory creation B, uh, pen skill, her third one is for assassin class, to go with Shiki. Uh, her noble phantasm is this right now on NA, which deals damage to one enemy, inf inflicts buff block status to them one time three turns, and reduces their attack for three turns, 10%. Rank EX. It is deals damage to one enemy and inflicts bluff block to the status, and then it deals an extra damage to super large enemies and reduces their attack for three turns, and it's a 150% multiplier when it is uh, against a super large enemy, which I guess is a reference to the fact that her NP is destroying a bridge. So I guess a bridge counts as a super large enemy, sure, why not? Um, the way she's built, it seems very basic, but basically you never really die. It's very hard to die with Fujino. <laughs> She's perfect for specifically challenges where you're like, I really don't want to die in this. She's going to be perfect for that because she's very hard to kill with her um, damage reduction, her ability to NP gain, and then also just constantly debuff the enemy with attack minus and stuff like that. Makes her very, very good. I really like her. I think she's worth having. Of the two collab units, I think she's still, I guess, no, there's three now. 
I have to actually look up the kit of the other one because I've been waiting on that one. I didn't actually look at it, but I still think Fujino is probably the best out of the three of them. Um, definitely better than Miyu. I can say that. Miyu still needs a lot of buffs to kind of fix her stuff, but she's still fantastic. And may as well look at Kiyohime real quick. I don't really have anything. I don't think she has like any real negatives to her. I just think she's very good. Someone, my brother did explain to me that this is Finn McCool. So there you go. I know his name. Don't worry about it. Uh, next, Kiyohime. So yeah, two quicks, one arts, two buster. Very weird kit now that I look at it. Sometimes in year one, they were doing something. Um, active skills, Blazing Summer Passion A reduces enemies' critical hit chance for three turns. Bathing Transformation A increases on buster performance for three turns, 30%. Pursuer of Love A, 500% chance to reduce one enemy's defense by three turn for three turns. Increases their attack 20% for three turns to merit. That's actually pretty bad. 30% defense, passive skills, mad enhancement, EX, magic resistance, D. Uh, increase attack against berserkers because she's obviously fighting off the other Kiyohime. And our noble phantasm is called Doji Bell Method 108, fire, uh, fire Dragon Mower. Deals damage to one enemy, 150% chance to seal their skills for one turn. 600% damage, inflicting burn, 500 damage. So she isn't. She is a year one four star, and it shows. She still probably needs. She needs a lot of buffs, to be honest. Some again. Sometimes they buff great. Sometimes they don't. But to be honest, if you're a fan of Kiyohime, this is your best chance of getting this girl. She is super crazy rare. So I say go for it if you're a fan. You we literally look at this. She has not come back in four years. She's not come back in four years. Take your chance now. In terms of a solo rate up, unless you want to wait for four years, uh, funny enough, because I think the actual current one is actually does feature her. This site unfortunately never updates, so I think she might actually be on that. But still, four years. You're going to want to wait four years for this girl? Not with the way she, the shit is going in the future, that's for sure. Let me see. Events, JP. She might be on here, because every summer unit had to come back at this time. So let me see. Where is it? Ah, uh, here it is. Countdown campaign. Summoning campaign. There she is. So yes, you will have to wait this long. Um, July. So maybe a little bit earlier on NA if you want her back. But I don't know. Your best chance is now, man. That's basically it. Tell me how you feel about this, because I bet this is the first hint that we're getting of them pushing. Again, they've done this in the past, but I feel like this is just a bigger thing, putting both Kiyohime and Fujino, just because they know how long it's been since, um, how long it's going to take for her to come back. I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to do this again in the future. Maybe some other events will they'll start dropping other summoning campaigns where it feels like, hey, there's kind of a lull. Maybe we'll drop another summoning campaign. It's going to be kind of interesting to see. But give your thoughts about it. If you summoned, I wish you all the best of luck. I'm going to see if I can scrounge up something to see if I can get for Gene Arc. Gene Arc. Gene. Uh, I wish you guys the best. Till next time, everyone. See you later. There's also craft businesses if that matters to you as well. Bye.